Hey there, Dango Stu here. In today's video, we're gonna look at replacing the cable on an old school drum and pulley type outboard steering system. This is the type of steering I'm talking about where you've got this spiral drum attached straight to the shaft of the helm. The cable on this steering has completely snapped, so we're gonna be swapping it out. Now, I'm not quite sure how this one broke. It takes quite a bit of force to break these cables, so I'm thinking it's either been chafing on something or it's actually physically been cut by some sort of incident, I'm not too sure. The very first thing I'm gonna do is wind the middle of the new cable onto the drum. Now, if you're watching this video because you searched for it, chances are this is the bit you're having trouble with, so I'll show you how you wind it on. Then I'm gonna use a bit of tape to tape it on to stop it springing off again, and then I'll use the old cable to pull the new one through. I must apologise too, this is a bit of an out in the field job as you can tell and I don't really have a tripod or anything with me so I'll do my best to show you all the different bits otherwise I'll just have to do it and then show you afterwards. Okay, so step one, I'm going to unwrap the new cable and find the centre of it. This is the cable we're using to do this job. It's a 3.2mm stainless wire, a 316 marine grade and it's a 7x7 seven seven strand lay. So with the cable out of the packet, I'm just going to find the two ends and then keep unravelling it till I find the very centre point of the cable. Once you've found the middle of the cable, by folding it in half essentially, I'm now going to lay this centre part lengthways down the groove along the centre of the drum. So I'll show you that. Here's the drum here on the end of the helm. So it's just on the shaft of the helm here, it rotates. And what you'll notice is that it's got this spiral groove coming around it and then this straight groove down the centre. So the very first thing we need to do is take the middle of the cable and lay it down this straight groove. Now it can't lay straight through because it's got these end flanges, but when it comes to the end, I'm gonna have the section here at the back or the sort of aft end of this drum heading off here to the port side of the boat and the section here at the forward part of the drum heading off to the starboard side of the boat. Now you know it has to go starboard here because this groove, if you head port, just disappears to nothing and up this side, you know it needs to head this way off to the port side of the boat because the groove here just heads to nothing. So you're running the cable, the centre of the cable, down through here and then off to the side where the spiral groove continues. So I'll do that and I'll show you what it looks like. So where we go. So there we go, that's step one. Down through the centre groove and then off to the two sides. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the helm to starboard like this and that's going to start winding this cable into the groove, the back half or the aft half of the drum. I'm going to keep winding it, I'm going to use one hand to turn the helm and the other hand just to guide this into the groove. I'm going to wind it until it reaches about the middle of the drum. I'm going to need two hands to do that unfortunately and I don't have a tripod here but I'll wind it and show you what that looks like. So there we go. What I do want to do though is I'm going to wind it because I want this cable, so if I hold here and let go, I want this cable to head off to the port side of the boat. Bear in mind I'm facing the stern of the boat now, so it's probably a bit reversed for you. But I want it to head off to the port side of the boat from the top of the drum. Now, if I let go of this, as you saw then, it wants to just expand and go straight again. So once I've got it roughly in the position I want, I'm going to put some tape around it just to hold it in place. Now I've got this cable wound onto the aft half of the drum here, I'm going to just wind this forward half on by hand. I can do that here because I've got access to the end of the drum, so I can actually just spiral it round. Once I've done that, I'll tape it up on both sides and then we'll be ready to run the cables round to the back. So what you should end up with then is the very centre of the cable going through that longitudinal groove. Then at the back, it's wound around until the centre heads off from the top, goes to the port side. The forward part here is wound round as well, gets, meets in the middle and heads off to the other side of the boat. So you've got both cables meeting in the middle and then heading off to opposite sides of the boat. So I'll finish taping this up and we'll drag the cables through. So there we go, all wound on, all taped up, one cable heading to each side of the boat. What happens now depends a little bit on the layer of the boat. This boat has a centre console, so it actually goes to pulleys right down here in the middle of the boat and then heads down onto the floor. What's a little bit more common is to actually head round to pulleys out near the gunnels and head down the sides, but same principle. 
the cable heading off the starboard side of the drum once again sorry I'm facing backwards but this is the starboard side of the boat so it'll go to the starboard side of the motor this one heading off the port side of the drum will go to the port side of the motor now we've got the cables wound onto the drum and taped up and run down to the back I'll show you the pulleys here the purpose of these two pulleys is simply just to bring it up and direct it out towards the gunnels then the purpose of the pulley out of the gunnel is to give you that sort of transverse pull port and starboard that actually turns the motor the reason we go from the pulley to a pulley on the outboard and back to the transom is because it gives us a bit of mechanical advantage a bit of a sort of a, a double block pulley to make it a little bit easier to steer the outboard the spring there obviously keeps a bit of tension on the line the whole time as well so that's why they're installed but we're also going to use some turnbuckles to help tension it against the spring so to start with I've got these turnbuckles wound all the way out so that we've got plenty of scope for shortening the line but I'll get it as tight as I can when I get it on here to lock it off I'm just using a couple of sort of U clamps like this so I'll go around the turnbuckle fold it back on itself pull it tight and then do these two nuts up I've got a bit of excess cable here but I'm not going to cut that off until it's all rigged up and ready to go because nothing worse than it being just a bit short first thing I do is feed this little locking clamp on then I'll go through my turnbuckle and then I'm going to go back through this clamp then I'm going to hook this onto the spring and start pulling this cable until it's reasonably taut so here's everything connected we've got the spring to the turnbuckle turnbuckle to the wire to the outboard and then onto the helm so now this has got a bit of tension on it and I'm making sure everything's still in its pulley it hasn't popped out of any of the grooves I'll just do up the nuts on this little locking clamp I'm going to do the same thing on the other side first and then I'll start looking at what tension we've got and whether I'm going to try and pull it a bit harder here or just use the turnbuckle to tension it up I've got these reasonably tight now by just sort of pulling on the end and locking off this clamp but now I'm just going to use these turnbuckles to just put a little bit more tension in it you don't want them to be super tight but you don't want so much slack that it can pop off the drum or pop off any of the pulleys <laughs> Oh, uh, is this on camera? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a drink or...? Uh, it won't be long actually, I've almost finished. I'll... Oh. Now these wires are reasonably taut, I'm just going to go turn the helm a few times and just see if any extra slack sort of gets introduced into the system as it moves around. Turning the helm now, it feels nice and smooth and the cables seem to both be holding the tension nicely. So here I'd popped the tape off earlier, sorry I forgot to mention that, but once it was all tensioned up I could take that tape off without any risk of it springing off the drum. To give you an idea, a better idea of how these systems work though, I will um, put the camera underneath so you can see the two ends and I'll show you as it turns from port to starboard. So you can see here both cables are meeting at the centre of the drum, which is the midship position. Then as I start turning the helm to starboard, both cables are moving till they meet at the forward end of the drum and when that happens most of the starboard cable has been wound out and most of the port side cable has been wound in which is what pulls the motor over so that pretty much wraps this video up I'm going to use some side cutters just to trim up the end of the cable because it's a bit too long there are some special sort of curved cutters you get for stainless steel wire just don't have any with me so side cutters are fine I'm also going to look at uh, replacing those turnbuckles because one end of them is a hook and I'm not a big fan of that because they can pop off. I'd rather have a ring at both ends and then just put a shackle at the other end to make sure it can't come off because if it pops off nothing stops the outboard just spinning to one side quite violently if you happen to be travelling at speed so something to be really careful about. Well thanks for watching, I hope this video helps you if you're doing one of these cable installs. Have a great holiday and I'll see you next time, bye.